It's tonight, the city councils are set to vote next week about launching an audit and investigation of several drainage projects overseen by Lafayette Mayor President Josh Guillory's administration. News 15's Kenny Dar is live at City Parish Hall with more. Kenny, where does this stem from? Well, Taylor, as you just said, the vote is expected to happen next week on September 6th regarding these drainage projects, which have largely gone to one specific contractor, raising questions from all sides. The decision to vote on a resolution authorizing the audit and investigation comes more than two months after Guillory refused to answer questions provided by City Council Chair Nanette Cook and other council members on June 7th. That's going to be where it begins. Where it takes us from there, we're not really sure. But the idea is to just look into the contracts um, and our bid bid policies and, and basically figure out how those procedures um, were, were done. Guillory would respond June 24th in a letter calling the questions political and insisting the council hire an auditor to answer those questions. Now, I did reach out to LCG spokesperson Jamie Angel earlier today, who has not responded to a request for comment at this time. However, in the letter from June, Guillory wrote, quote, for the sake of transparency, an independent audit is the best solution to answering these questions to remove any and all doubt of the legitimacy of the final responses. Council members were in the process of identifying an auditor from outside Lafayette when Guillory announced his departure for rehab on July 25th. The reason those questions were presented to him by the council was because they were questions that the public was asking, the media was asking, um, you know, they were out there and we didn't have the answers either. So this is why we formally presented them to him in hopes of getting the answers just to clear everything up. Now, this proposal would also be protected from a potential veto by Guillory under Lafayette's Home Rule Charter, which prohibits vetoes for ordinances that fund audits or investigations. Reporting live in Lafayette, Kenny Dar, News 15. Thank you, Kenny. Councilmember Nanette Cook says an auditor from Baton Rouge has been picked for the job, and she also says she is optimistic about support from other members of the council.